Good morning, fans of the Privateer FX. Back in action in our Swiss lair. After a couple days in London, three days in London, good times, seeing some good folk, catching up on the big city life, we're back. We'll get right into it today. Uh, important dollar yen price action on Friday. Bearish engulfing. U.S. rates coming off. Dollar yen looking like it's having a hard time going higher here. We have these two monsters above. Granted, far above this uh, 200 day at one uh, 110.25 and then this downward sloping trend line from way back. Um, sort of overhang. Dollar yen looks like it's set to go lower now. We do have um, Federal Reserve on Wednesday, so we got to keep an eye on that. Um, but dollar yen through the figure today. We're basically selling uh, mid range and we're adding through the lows today in dollar yen. Your dollar, a little bit of a retrace uh, on Friday. It's right in our sell zone here. Uh, we do not think we're going to get above this 122, 55, 75 area. So if you're a careful seller, uh, try and sell near 70. Uh, if you're more of an aggressive seller, you want to sell kind of here and add to 50. You got to be careful it's month end today. Uh, we do expect month end selling of euro dollar today um, and this is based on US repatriation flows more than equity setups. Uh, but we'll see. You never really know month end. I mean I never really know. You have to take educated guesses. Uh, listen to the gossip on the street. So that's not a sure bet. But considering this setup and the dollar yen setup, uh, we're sellers of euro yen. We're going to be selling high ones in euro yen and focusing on this technical setup in dollar yen. Bitcoin hanging right in there, doing what we wanted to do, which is just hang in steady up at 9,300. Um, cable come back to FX this is a huge level 137.15 kind of looks like it's inevitable now somehow um, so you know I'm careful about selling high ones or selling low ones after this kind of down moving cable so ideally we're going to get some sort of print down here um, there will be loads of selling through 137.15. On the big picture, we're just looking for somewhere between 60 and 80 points on this because it could very easily be a trap reverse because we're running into big support down at 136.15. But with 100 points between support and break, uh, it's definitely worth a look. No clarity if this is going to happen today. Uh, it is month end, so a lot of the big boys are going to be closing at lunchtime. Uh, but this is something to keep an eye on in the next coming days. Very, very important level. Dollar Swiss ran out of gas on uh, on Friday. It still looks pretty solid. A lot of updates here, so this could easily consolidate. But you got to wonder if just the interest rate differential is now so overwhelming um, that dollar Swiss just in general has to go higher. Sort of global macro risks have been reduced with this epic news coming out of North Korea. Um, this in general is a buy on dips. I have, there's no trade today, but did run out of gas on Friday. We'll see what happens. 
you can imagine anyone who did go short Friday will leave a stop at 99.22. Um, just pointing that out. No trade going on in dollar Swiss. Aussie yen is it's kind of setting up all right now. Look at this 200 four hourly bar here. You got these lows here. 82.39 that keep being respected. We'll call it 82.40. No real story here, but if it wasn't month end, I'd be trading this through 82.40. So maybe maybe for Tuesday. Aussie and Kiwi finally reversed a bit. If you look in the dailies in Kiwi, we almost bullish engulfed but we didn't now like sort of a double top up there at 70.95 Kiwi we can retrace a little bit as can Aussie but these downtrends are very solid so I wouldn't go crazy getting long Aussie Kiwi or being short dollar CAD all right, that's it for now. Uh, dollar yen, the main focus. Euro yen, sort of. A, we're not going to rush into this at the open. Uh, let's just keep in mind we've got non-farms at the back end of this week. Also, let's keep in mind that uh, most of Asia is kind of out today. China, I think, is out. Golden week in Japan. Um, China's out tomorrow as well. So. Liquidity is going to be a little bit less. Interest is going to be a little bit less. Uh, we have holidays in Europe this first week in May. You know, some weird ones in Switzerland tomorrow. And, and um, so, patchy week. But we do have non-farms and we do have FOMC this week. Uh, so, these are the big sort of macro moments to keep in mind. I'll leave it with that, guys, and I will see you at the New York Open. Ciao.